Hi, I'm Hari here, and this is the story of the battle for New Dwarf City. Ever since we embarked, we've been having issues with humans, but apparently locking them into a labyrinth as faceless NPCs for an adventurer to kill years down the line was a step too far for the local human civilizations, because they felt compelled to send an invasion force a hundred humans strong to extort me for one of my many artifacts. I obviously wasn't planning on giving in to their demands, but with only 23 dwarves fit, trained, and ready to fight, I wasn't sure that it was a fight we could win. After all, we were outnumbered 4 to 1, and my dwarves were mostly stuck wearing goblin hand-me-downs. Still, it's not every day you get a chance for an all-out battle against a hundred humans, and so I told myself if we won this time, we would have proven ourselves enough that we would just lock the doors for the next one. Because the humans were requesting a parlay, I was able to position my squads within spitting distance of them, which was good because with the numbers being what they were, I didn't want to risk one squad arriving before another and getting overwhelmed. Before denying the humans' parlay request, I made sure to give each of the militia captains their own name as a nickname to make them stand out in the fight log so I could keep track of how the fight was progressing. With everything set and ready to go, I denied their request and unpaused the game. At first contact, a mace lord immediately entered a martial trance, while militia commander Risen dodged all the arrows shot her way as she closed the gap between the armies. After a few seconds of fighting, the first humans began to fall as Risen entered a martial trance and militia captains Unib and Bomrek got into their business. As the battle became a full-on melee, the personalities of the militia captains were on full display. Risen improved her kicking mid-combat, but found that unsatisfying. Unib began wrestling the humans he came across rather than use his sword, and Bomwick was stabbing people in the tongue, which was cool. After another couple seconds of fighting, our army seemed untouchable. Risen was improving as she went, despite her best efforts, Unib was twisting people into pretzels, and Bomwick found the humans so distasteful, he started pommel striking them rather than dull his blade. But as the battle continued, it seemed like the tides might start shifting. Vrutok the Mace Lord died after losing her martial trance and passing out from exhaustion in the middle of the battle. Initially it seemed like it might not affect the militia captains, Risen was so sturdy humans were bouncing off of her as they tried to tackle her after all. But after another couple seconds of fighting, and with another dwarf down, even she was vulnerable, collapsing and getting up repeatedly after taking a morning stare to the foot. After a couple of tense seconds, our losses doubled with the deaths of Olin and Emush. But fortunately, Risen had gotten herself out of the thick of things and was fighting weak crossbowmen on the outskirts. In what remained of the main battle, after all the human losses, Unib was slapping people in the teeth with his sword and Bomrek was being normal for once. Once I unpaused it again, it became clear that it would be for the last time this siege, as the final humans were mopped up. A couple of dwarves, including Risen, were injured enough that they couldn't make their way back to the fort without help. But all in all, 4 dead and 3 injured was a very manageable number of casualties for a battle against 100 humans. With the battle over and us having won decisively, it was now time for our reward, getting to throw out all the trash the humans had left. Between the body parts and the armor, they had made a total mess of the place. The trash collection was made slightly interesting when a cyclops came to visit, but he immediately made his way into one of the cage traps without hassling anybody. After my dwarves had given up on their trash collection duties, I atom smashed everything they had bothered to pick up, and made the decision that with a cyclops in hand, I should continue my war on humans by clearing out the labyrinth of the human survivors that remained down there so we could do a proper reset. However, while attempting to kill the handful of humans still living down there, two of my civilians got themselves killed by rushing in. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. You lose four dwarves while fighting off a hundred human soldiers, and then you lose two, dealing with five injured and malnourished humans who were dumb enough to get themselves caught in cage traps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.